Tudley Didn't Know, written and illustrated by John Himmelman. Tudley was a young turtle who lived in a great big pond. He and all the other turtles liked to spend the warm summer afternoons lying in the sun. It was nice being a turtle in the sun. One afternoon, Tudley stretched out on a rock and watched a hummingbird build its nest. The bird dropped a piece of lichen and it landed next to Tudley. I'll get that, said Tudley. He picked up the lichen and flew up to the nest. Here you go, he said to the hummingbird. What did you just do, asked the bird. I brought you your lichen, said the turtle. But turtles can't fly, said the bird. They can't, said Tudley. Well, I didn't know that. He looked down at the shocked faces of the turtles below. Did you know that turtles can't fly, he called down. They all just nodded. That night, as Tudley was resting from a long day of flying from here to there and there to here, he watched the fireflies glowing in the dark. Then he heard a tiny little plip. A firefly had fallen into the water beside him. Tudley fished him out. Thank you, said the firefly. But now I'm too wet to fly and... Everyone will be going home. I'll call for help, said Tudley. He lifted his tail in the air and made it glow bright green. Blink, 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 went his tail as he signaled to the other fireflies. One of them landed next to the turtle. How did you do that, he asked. Do what, asked Tudley. Make your tail glow, said the firefly. Turtles can't make their tails glow. They can't, said Tudley. I didn't know that. He looked at the other turtles who had gathered around him. Their mouths hung wide open. Did you know that our tails don't glow, he asked. They all just nodded their heads. The next morning, a tadpole swam up to Tudley. Look, said the tadpole, I'm growing feet. But then the tadpole looked sad. I wish I could show my mom, he said. Where is she, asked Tudley. Out hopping in the meadow, said the tadpole. I'll find her, said Tudley. He went to the meadow and found the tadpole's mother. Tudley hopped up alongside her. Come back to the pond and see your tadpole, he said. He's got legs. Oh my, said the frog. As the two of them hopped back toward the pond, the frog looked over at Tudley and said, You are a special deer, aren't you? Why, asked Tudley. Turtles can't hop, she said. They can't, said Tudley. I didn't know that. Did you know that turtles can't hop, shouted Tudley as he hopped up to the other turtles. The other turtles blinked and then slowly sunk under the water. That evening, Tudley heard some katydids singing in the trees. Each called from the highest branch it could find. Tudley liked their music and decided to join them. He flew up to the tallest tree at the edge of the meadow. How do you make that beautiful sound, he called to the Katie, one of the katydids. Ah, oh, we rub our wings together, he answered. Hmm, I don't have wings, he thought, but I can rub my arms together. Soon he was singing like the katydids. Hey, turtles can't sing, a katydid shouted. They can't? I didn't know that, said Tudley. Did you know that? Turtles can't sing, he called down to the other turtles. Oh, I forgot, he thought. The turtles aren't even here. They're back at the pond. Suddenly, Tudley lost his balance. He fell from the tree and landed upside down on a rock. Help, called Tudley. 
Tudley tried to fly off the rock, but he could not fly upside down. He tried to hop off the rock, but his legs just waved in the air. Tudley was frightened. He saw the fireflies glowing in the air. It gave him an idea. He blinked his tail to call for help. Then Tudley felt something land on his chest. It was the firefly he had saved a while back. I can't get down! If I tip over, I'll fall and hurt myself, said Tudley. I saw you needed help and brought some friends, he said. Just then the mother frog and the hummingbird appeared. But the frog, the firefly, and the bird were afraid to move him. I will get the older turtles, said the firefly. They will know what to do. Tudley spent the night on the rock, waiting for the slow-moving turtles. He was still scared. But the frog, Katie did, and bird kept him company. Morning came, and Tudley still didn't know what to do. Hey, Tudley, what are you doing up there? called a voice from below. The turtles had arrived. I'm stuck, yelled Tudley. Please help me. We can't get up there, cried the turtles. What should I do? screamed Tudley. Tuck into your shell, said the turtles. How do I do that, asked Tudley. Just pull in your head and feet, yelled the turtles. Tudley pulled his head and feet inside his shell. Now what? he called from inside his shell. Rock back and forth, yelled the turtles. I'll fall and get hurt, cried Tudley. Your shell will protect you, said the turtles. Tudley rocked back and forth. He slipped off the top of the rock and rolled all the way down. The turtles all gathered around young Tudley. Are you okay? they asked. Tudley poked his head and then his feet back out of his shell. I didn't know I could do that, he laughed. As Tudley flew away, some of the other turtles began to wonder. The end.